Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making something creamy, something delicious and full of cheese. We're gonna be making some mac and cheese in the Instant Pot. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe. To start off with this recipe, we will need one pound of pasta. You can use elbow noodles or macaroni, whatever pasta you have available. Four cups of water. You will need one and a half pounds of cheddar cheese. You can use both sharp and mild like I'm doing or you can just use all mild cheddar one stick of butter, about one cup of whole milk, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and finally one teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give it a little kick. In your Instant Pot, add in the four cups of water and be sure to season well. This is the only time that we're gonna be adding salt into this recipe. Mix the water until the salt dissolves and then add in your pasta. Now the pasta, you wanna make sure that every piece of pasta is submerged underneath the water. Now place the lid on your Instant Pot and make sure that it's set to seal. Set the Instant Pot to pressure cook and you wanna bring this down to four minutes. Now this is the only part that I do not like about this Instant Pot is this little knob. You have to turn it and it, there's no speed up feature. So yeah, due diligence and just keep turning until you get to four minutes. Once you set it to four minutes, you wanna make sure that you have it on high pressure. So you're gonna be pressing the knob and then that'll allow you to change to low or high pressure cook. But once you have all your settings correct, go ahead and press start. Once the timer is done, we are going to do a rapid release. We do not wanna overcook our pasta. So go ahead and release the pressure. And once it's ready, we're gonna be adding in our other ingredients. The first thing that we are going to be adding in is the butter. The pasta is hot, so that will melt it. Now add in a little bit of milk. Now altogether, it's probably gonna be taking about a cup of milk. But once we get the milk in there, we're gonna set it to saute on low. This will allow everything to get hot. That way we can mix everything for our mac and cheese. Now add in the cayenne pepper along with the garlic powder and mix it well within the milk mixture. We wanna get this mixed evenly before we start adding in the cheese. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna be adding in the cheese little by little and we're gonna mix it well into that milk mixture. As soon as the cheese melts into the milk, we're gonna be adding more. Just keep adding until you get a nice creamy texture. And if you need to add a little bit more milk, by all means, just add a little bit more milk. Like I said, I used about a pound and a half of cheese in this recipe. But to know exactly when your cheese sauce is ready, once you start feeling like you're getting a workout from you know mixing that cheese sauce, that's about when you have enough cheese in your mac and cheese. Now that we have a nice thick creamy cheese sauce, now add a layer of cheese right there on top. We're gonna crisp this up and get a nice crispy topping for our mac and cheese. And once we get everything covered, we're gonna be placing our air fryer lid right on top of the Instant Pot. Now set your Instant Pot to air fryer mode and we're gonna set that for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. One thing to note about this air fryer lid is it does have a preheat, so it's gonna tell you to add the food in there. All you have to do is just lift up the lid and then also halfway through the cook time, you're gonna to have to lift up the lid again. But once it's done, you have a wonderful baked style mac and cheese. It's really creamy and just very delicious. Creamy, cheesy, got a little crisp on the top right there. My favorite parts are those little crispy ends right there, right on top. Let's get a bite, y'all. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Full of cheese. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a cheese addict. And this right here is just savory, cheesy, and yummy. Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave a link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. Now look, check this out. My website is not full of ads and all kinds of just junk all over the place. Look, my website is very simple. I get straight to the point. I even post the video that you see right here on my website so that way you can follow along with the recipe. Now I have these recipes, they're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.